So guess what's making waves in the audio world right now? This little guy, the WeM Pro or Wim Pro. This music streamer has audiophiles absolutely losing their minds. Had only $149 in the US, this thing is packed with a wealth of features we're gonna talk about and I just can't wait to hear that bit perfect sound quality. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. I was surprised when I first saw people talking about the WeM Pro or WIM Pro in a Facebook group that's usually pretty critical of budget-friendly products. The fact that the community was raving about its sound quality caught my attention immediately. So I reached out to WIM and got my hands on one to try out for myself. The WIM Pro is definitely an interesting device. It's clear that the company invested time and tons of money into their mobile app licensing and building a platform like this. The box includes all the essentials, a USB-C cable and plug, an RCA cable and an optical cable. There's no physical remote, but they do sell one separately if you are interested. However, the mobile app offers more functionality, so I'm not sure if the remote is necessary. However, if you really want one, their voice remote is only 20 bucks on Amazon and I will link it below. The device itself is lightweight, hinting at a simple in internal design. The exterior does feel a bit plasticky, kind of cheapy. But that's just me being overly critical, really. Setting it up was a breeze. I had the app downloaded and running in under five minutes, only delayed by an update. One cool feature is the auto calibration, which uses the device the device's microphone and a proprietary algorithm to measure latency when connected to a receiver or preamp. This helps maintain audio sync and wireless multi-room playback. I thought that was a unique feature, pretty cool. Now, the more I look at this device physically and see all the features, I feel that this device was designed to be in direct competition with the Sonos port, which is great because this shows the world you don't need to spend almost $500 on a device that you can get for 149 bucks. This could definitely be Sonus's worst nightmare, especially since many folks in the forums are saying that the functionality of the Wim Pro is superior to the port. The unit has a sleek design, as you can see, with uh, touch-sensitive controls on the front, while the back has a variety of connections like USB-C input for the power, mic input, optical in and out, coax out, a LAN port to hardwire in, RCA inputs and outputs, and a 12-volt trigger. It does work from your Wi-Fi network as well, which is how I imagine most will be using this device, I, I would assume. Overall, my first impressions were pretty clear. This is a device that provides you with a lot of options in regards to connectivity and integration within not only your existing system, but also throughout your home utilizing its multi-room capabilities. It can also stand its own as a sort of preamp if you wish it if you wish it to be so. Now, the DAC used in this device is the same DAC they use in their WIM Mini, which is their entry-level streamer, so I'd say utilizing the DAC and analog output stage probably won't give you the results you would get if you ran it from the coax or optical outputs to your DAC. You do want to leverage that bit perfect quality up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bit, only available with the digital outputs. Keep that in mind. As far as compatibility goes, you can realistically stream from almost any streaming service available, including Amazon. Not many third-party devices do that since Amazon likes to keep things within their own little ecosystem. I would compare their mobile user interface to like a Blue OS. It looks different, but it has tons of features like a graphic EQ that allows you to strategically set the frequency to your personal taste. You can basically control every aspect of this unit via the mobile app. So regarding room, as of today, April 12th, the WIM Pro isn't certified yet. You could still stream from Rune using AirPlay or Chromecast though. Room Labs confirmed that the certification process is underway and WIM mentioned it should be complete by early second quarter. Many people are eagerly waiting for this, but honestly, I don't think there should be any concerns. The WIM Pro is a solid device and I'm glad I got one before the feeding frenzy. There is one thing that could be improved upon in future iterations of this device and that's the Bluetooth connectivity. So it's able to do just ho-hum regular Bluetooth, however many wanted AptX HD to have been integrated into their device since a greater part of the population out there use Bluetooth to stream. I don't, so it doesn't affect me one bit, but for the millions, and millions of people who use Bluetooth, being able to stream at the highest quality available would have been a solid feature. Now, for the most important thing about this unit, how did it sound? 
For this evaluation, I used my featured playlist in Quobuz and streamed directly to the unit. I decided to connect the WIM Pro to my Denifrips Pontus 2 using the optical output and kept the EQ settings in the mobile app flat for a neutral flat sound. I was impressed by how clean and crisp the music sounded. I have experimented with many streamers over the years, some more expensive than the Wim Pro, like the MP5 Prisma from Premiere, the iFi Zen Stream, and my own PiFi creations. Surprisingly, this little device kept kept up. The bass felt a bit forward, but you could adjust that, you know, using the EQ options in the app. Overall, the sound quality was excellent, with smooth mids, clean highs, even at higher volumes, there was like no distortion or issues, and it imaged quite well. However, when I tried the RCA outputs, the sound wasn't as impressive. There's no comparison between using the built-in DAC and the Pontus 2. You could definitely tell the difference, and I would recommend using the digital outputs and an external DAC with this device for the best results. It's very rare that a device like this, at the price point it's presented to us, can deliver on both sound quality and functionality. The Wim Pro is an affordable yet feature-packed streamer I think that's perfect for anyone who wants top-notch functionality without breaking the bank. I love how they positioned themselves as a multi-room solution and opened the opportunity for voice control using Amazon Alexa, Siri, or even Google Voice Assistant. Its impressive sound quality was an enjoyable surprise, and I believe anyone who loves streaming music would be an excellent excellent user for this device since it can satisfy anyone's needs or wants from a music streamer. I think this is one of those unicorn products that exist to challenge the status quo and keep other companies in check. Wim did something incredibly right with this unit and it was a pleasure to have experienced it. I can confidently say that this is in fact the best music streamer in its price class for all the reasons I have mentioned. To be honest, I think it's the only streamer in its price class with all of this set of features and quality, so I suppose they win by default. I will continue to use the streamer within my home because I feel that it exceeds the expectations that anyone with a high standard of quality will appreciate in their sound system. If you haven't checked out my online t-shirt shop and Patreon, I encourage you to do so. Links are in the description below. That's where you'll find all the information you'll need about the whim and all my good stuff. If you enjoyed the video and got something from it, I would love for you to use your force lightning on the like button. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time a new video is born. With all that said and done, folks, I will see you on the next one.